Hi, hello there, my lovies. Welcome back to Crazy But Not Dangerous. I'm Shorty Vaughn. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. We are having a delicious um, dinner tonight. We're having a sandwich. We're going to have, okay, I was watching some TV and I have to tell you that I was inspired by the Panera Ciabatta Dippers. Yeah, those look so good. But we're not on our way over to the Panera because, you know, pretty much since 2020, I have made almost every meal here at the house. And sometimes I miss going out. Sometimes I miss, before 2020, Andrew and I, I was the queen of overtime. He worked full time. My longest stretch was 21 days in a row with nine doubles built into that stretch of work. And, and, and I, yeah, I loved it. But we live a more quiet, simpler life now. And, and for the most part, that means that I make dinner of some sort just about every single day. Unless Melissa and Andrew take a turn. Anyhow, tonight I'm making a sandwich inspired by the commercials that I saw. Because I'm hungry and I cannot get over to the Panera. So, no worries. We've got, we've got it all covered for. All covered. Absolutely. How you doing today, my babies? Everything going okay? Did you get your turkey out to thaw? Is it frozen solid? Are you waiting for tomorrow? You know, don't wait too long. It takes longer to thaw turkey than you think. All right, so the other day when I was over at the Aldi, got myself a can of the um, whole cranberry sauce. Tonight we're going to be using that, but we're going to be zhuzhing it up just a little bit because, you know, it needs some love. It absolutely needs some love. Do you all love turkey or are you like Andrew and I? A little bit of Thanksgiving will do you. A little bit of Thanksgiving will do us. So when I was working full time, most of the time I would make a staff dinner that included a turkey. I would make a turkey dinner for my guests and what have you. And then I may have gone over to the um, Veterans Center and helped prepare Thanksgiving for um, some of our veterans. So, yeah, by the time I got home, there was no way in Hades that I was going to make Thanksgiving for Andrew and I. For the most part, over the last 30 years of marriage, that what we do is we go to Jack in the Box. Do you have a Jack in the Box near you? I'm a two tacos and an egg roll kind of a gal with a great big diet coat. I know. Yeah. That, that's 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 where I, that's my address. That's where you can find me. Anyhow, we are probably still going to have some kind of Jack in the Box for Thanksgiving because that's just yeah. That was Andrew's little special treat. Now, if we went to my mother's house, and I would tell him, listen, you go to my mother's house, you get along with everybody, you know what have you. I will treat you to Jack in the Box on the way home, and he, oh yeah, that's all it would take. He'd be in like Flynn. My family, they're, they're an unusual bunch of people. There's a lot of them. And Andrew was an only child, so he thought the whole thing was very overwhelming. And it, and it certainly can be. So this has whole cranberries in it. I think it's delicious just on its own. But we're going to zhuzh it up really quick. Get this in the refrigerator so that it has plenty of time to mix and mingle. I've gone ahead and diced a little bit of celery and I've diced this pretty fine. So I'm going to go ahead and add that into my cranberry relish that I'm making. Yes, please and thank you. There we go. Now this has already been somewhat sweetened, so I'm not really going to be adding any sugar to this. Plus, I really like, I really like the tartness of cranberries. Don't mind that one bit. But a little bit of that celery. I also have an apple here. I'm going to add a little bit of chopped up apple in there just for that little tiny bit of added sweetness without necessarily adding any sugar or Splenda, but adding plenty of crunch to it. So yeah, I can get behind that. Our holiday seasons have always been just jam packed and so you know this time, yeah, it's, it's kind of nice to just take a little break away from everything. Take a few deep breaths and just enjoy the season and enjoy each other. And my sister Jackie, she's hosting Thanksgiving. And we'll see how that goes. I haven't RSVP'd yet. 
Now Jackie is um, eight and a half months pregnant. She's due in the first few weeks of December. Yeah, she big. She oh she yeah. This is her um, sixth pregnancy, seventh child. So she is busy, and that house has has all the kids. It has all the kids, and they're they they just run wild. Yeah, they're they're a lot. Then my little niece Liberty will be over there. I can't wait to see her and just see them all up. Yeah. Now, Liberty is my nephew Charlie's daughter. So she is actually my great niece. And let's go ahead and get that apple chopped up in there. I like a lot of fruit. Yum. Oh. Yay, hooray, it's some fruit. Okay, that's looking good. That looks fantastic. I'm gonna add a little bit of orange zest to it. And I've thoroughly washed my orange. I bought it at the grocery store. It's not quite citrus season here yet. That's coming up. Um, pomegranates are in for me and they are looking big and fantastic. And I will probably go ahead and pick some um, this week. Usually the week of Thanksgiving, they start to look really terrific and they are big and ripe and ready to go. So hot diggity. I'll pick them and I'll show you what I what we ended up with. So go ahead and add that orange zest, lemon, lime, any kind of citrus, grapefruit. I think any kind of citrus zest just adds so much to your, to your dish. Just that little brightness that little spark of flavor, yippy skippy, and there we go. So I don't know, I think that's a real quick, easy way to just zhuzh up a can of whole cranberry sauce. You could add nuts to this. Um, for tonight's dinner, I'm not going to add nuts. I want it just like it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator, let it mix and mingle and do its thing. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. I also have a little bit of turkey soup base and it's just very simply turkey soup base that's it it's got a little bit of salt got a little bit of turkey flavor I don't know what else looks like a little bit of parsley four cups of water right into my saucepan there I'm gonna turn this on low and then go ahead dump that soup base right inside and just let that get started I just want that to heat through and maybe just reduce the tiniest bit. And that is going to be fantastic. Now, I'm only going to be serving small ramekins of the um, turkey broth on the side so you can dip your sandwich into it. Doesn't that sound good? Um, the rest of the four cups, I'm going to be doing something else with for, you know, my little bit of Thanksgiving week. Like I said, on the big day, I'm not cooking a bird. I'm not gonna put one out on the Traeger, not gonna smoke one, not going to fry one, not gonna roast one in the oven. But we're just having a little bit of Thanksgiving and then we're gonna have, you know, our Jack in the Box splurge. Do you, what kind of Thanksgiving traditions do you all have? Tell me down below. Yeah, if Andrew could survive a holiday with my mom and all of my siblings, you know, without pulling all his hair out, I turned the wrong burner on. Be careful. Don't burn yourself. What kind of holiday traditions do you always have? Tell me down below. Now, my mother would do the cooking. My sister, Patty, and I, we would help her do things. Um, everyone else was responsible for something else because they don't cook. They don't, they, yeah, they, yeah, they don't cook much at all. So we would, we would help my mom out in the kitchen and my sister Sherry, my sister Glenda, they would set the dining room table and, and do all the things. Yeah, we, 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 uh, we had a good time. And uh, at the holidays, I always miss my mom because she could really do it upright. So anyhow, I'm gonna let that go ahead and simmer probably for about the next 30 minutes. It's not quite time to get everything else ready, but uh, we'll get there, absolutely. All right, be right back. 
to my turkey base, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of garlic pepper seasoning. There we go. And a little bit of celery salt because this was very low sodium and it just needs that little tiny bit of celery that I think goes great with turkey, yay great, all of the flavors, none of the work. And this is going to be a really great seasoned broth, kind of like an au jus, but for turkey. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit of black pepper. And a little bit of a taste test. Delicious. I know what, it could still use just a little tiny bit of more of the celery, I think. So, there we go. Oh yeah, now it's got all the smells. That's gonna be fantastic. I had two ciabattas in the freezer. I took those out to thaw earlier today. And so they should be just about ready. Let's go ahead and get these sliced in half. Y'all ready? You ready for Thanksgiving? You got any good plans? You got people coming? You going somewhere else? Okay, here's a question for you. If you're invited to Thanksgiving potluck, do you anticipate that your hostess will be making the turkey? That's a question. Okay, so my friend was invited to a Thanksgiving potluck and uh, they were using that app, that Bring It app, to organize their potluck. Anyhow, the hostess is providing beer, wine, and water and requested all of the items, including a turkey, to be brought. Is it the hostess's responsibility, host or hostess's responsibility, to make the turkey? Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 for me, my thought process is I don't really want to haul around a 25, 30 pound turkey in, in my car. Yeah, that just sounds like a recipe for disaster. Plus, you know, by the time I drive it somewhere, it's probably going to be, you know, close to the danger zone. You're going to have to drive really fast or, you know, get there really early and cook your bird at her house. I don't, I don't know. What do you think? Is it okay to ask somebody else to bring the turkey to your Thanksgiving? Inquiring minds want to know. I can go either way on it. I don't really care. All right, so there we go. I'm going to go ahead and get my pan out. We're going to start building this turkey sandwich. So I got my turkey over at the Aldi, and this was $4.95 for a 16-ounce package, and it's just premium smoked. Uh, honey smoked turkey breast with white meat. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I think this would also be great to do with uh, leftover turkey. You know, if you have some for the next day, these these um, these turkey sandwiches on the ciabatta. And whether you have turkey soup, or, or if you were going, like I'm going to be using pepper jack cheese because Andrew and I both agreed that our, our turkey sandwiches could use some pepper jack. Um, a tortilla soup would be great for dipping this in. Tomato, a spicy tomato. Any of those would be really good. We're just using what we've got, doing some things up. It'll be fine. No sweat. So we are, Andrew has having one sandwich. Melissa and I are sharing a sandwich, but we're going to be doing all the things from here. So I'm putting a, piece, a pepper jack cheese down on the bottom. And okay, well, I can't get this package to open. I'm not struggling with it. It just transfer this lunch meat over into another package. It'll be fine. And then I want to layer up this turkey so that even though these ciabattas are smaller in size, they are still pretty thick, so I think it needs a fair amount of turkey on there. Fair amount of lunch meat to be substantial and kind of, you know, the ratio of bread to um, 
toppings has to be just right in my opinion so here we go I like this lunch meat a lot I like that it's sliced so thin because then you have that really good um, surface area that makes the lunch meat taste twice as good and Hazel she's over here drooling she's like yeah lady yeah pile that turkey on there put it on high and make sure you save some for me so oh yeah are you crying that's pitiful that's, that's pitiful come here baby come here baby and get a piece of get a piece of turkey come on yeah oh yeah poor hazel she was out running in the yard and she tweaked her leg and so she's been gimping around the house but she let me look at it and it seems like it's just a soft tissue injury if she's not better by tomorrow then we're going to run into the vet's office before the holiday because i'm not going to the animal hospital on thanksgiving if i don't have to they charge an arm and leg well literally poor yeah bad choice of words there Sorry, Hazel. She's like, that's okay, lady. There's nothing a little another piece of turkey lunch meat won't help. It'll fix it up. Turkey lunch meat fixes everything, huh, baby? Anyhow, I love her. And I'm sure she just, yeah, she's just kind of gimping around on it. Makes me sad. So. There we go. Plenty of turkey lunch meat on there. And then I think it's going to need one more piece of pepper jack cheese. We love pepper jack. Do you have a favorite kind of cheese? What's your favorite kind of cheese, baby? There we go. Fantastic. I'm going to put this in one of those black plastic containers because I can't be, I can't be bothered with those. Easy, easy for whom? That's what I want to know. Um, Ziploc bags. I can't get those anymore. Those are the pits. Here we go. Got my tray for my pizza bake. I've got a little piece of parchment on there because I don't want to scrub dishes if I don't have to. And yeah, yeah, that looks like really good sandwich to me. Plenty of identifiable meat and cheese on there. Hot diggity. That's going to be good. Those are going to be fantastic. Now, what I like to do is I like to put the bottom into the Easy Bake Oven and turn that on about 375 degrees until the ciabatta is all toasty on the bottom, until that lunch meat's heated through, until the cheese is ooey gooey and melty. Yes, please and thank you. Then for maybe like the last two or three minutes, I like to go ahead and pop the tops in and let those just do their thing for the last couple of minutes. That way my top of my sandwich is toasted, but not too toasty. I don't want to, yeah, I'm, it's a nice, soft, warm bite, yummy and delicious. That's what I really want. I'm going to put a little bit of butter on these. going to give these a real light little butter up yes please and thank you no worries and then like I said the last couple of minutes I'll just pop these in for a quick warm through and then we will assemble the rest of our sandwich I'm hungry my belly's hitting my backbone I'm ready for dinner now we're having we're having carbs tonight for dinner but I had cottage cheese for lunch and I had yogurt for breakfast, so I still have carbs in my in in today's in today's allotment. So, still, yeah, I might be cheating a little bit. Ooh, a little piece of ham, turkey, turkey. Um, yeah, I might be cheating a little bit, but I am still trying to stay under 60 carbs on the regular. But yeah, that's I was influenced by the media. That 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 uh, Panera commercial with those ciabatta dippers, ooh yes please and thank you. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these into the Easy Bake oven. Like I said, 375 degrees, probably for about seven minutes, and then yeah, 
then we'll put the tops in. We'll get everything and set, finish assembling these sandwiches. They're gonna be good. I can take, ooh, I can taste it already. So my sandwiches are in the oven and my broth is just simmering along here. It's kind of kind of gonna be like a turkey au jus. Is there such a thing? Well, there is now, hot diggity. Um, you know what it's time for? It's time for a little classic TV trivia. We haven't done that in forever. Does anybody remember the Bionic Woman with Lindsay Wagner? Lindsay Wagner pay, plays the Bionic Woman. Yeah, and this was a show opposite like the Six Million Dollar Man, hot diggity. Anyhow, Lindsay Wagner plays the Bionic Woman. What was the name of her character? Tell me down below if you know. Let's take a taste test and see how this broth is coming along. It smells fantastic. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to be honest with you. That little bit of starter, those few spices, that tastes like it's simmered all day. That sandwich is gonna be delicious when you dunk it. Are you a dunker? Yeah, yeah, I like to dunk. My mother was not a dunker. She did not like even a donut. Yeah, she would, she, yeah, she would, ooh, she, that would make her so mad, ooh. Anyhow, she wouldn't let us drink the milk in our cereal either. You could spoon it up if you wanted to, but you couldn't tip the bowl. My dad, he would be the lookout. Thank you. All right, she's gone. Drink your milk and get out of here. Go to school. And, and, hey, wait, 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 here she comes. Put your bowls down. Yeah. Don't get my mom going on the wrong foot at the beginning of the day. It sets a bad mood for the whole for the whole day. But yeah, she absolutely could not stand, you know, slurping out of the bowl your milk in the morning. And she definitely would not be a sandwich dunker. But I love like a good grilled cheese sandwich dipped in tomato soup. And when I saw this commercial on the Panera commercial, it made my heart just all a flutter. I'm not, I'm excited about it. Anyhow, this is gonna be delicious. And uh, yeah. That doesn't take any time at all. I like meals that take less than 15 minutes. So these are almost ready to go in. And then we're going to put the final touch on our sandwich. And then it's dinner time. Hot diggity. Those sandwiches are almost done toasting. I'm going to go ahead and ladle up the turkey au jus. Here we go. And we've got a little bit of that cranberry sauce on the side too, just to dress your sandwich if you're so inclined. I'm gonna make Andrew's plate first. And let me go ahead and grab those sandwiches. Okay, fresh out of the Easy Bake oven. That cheese is all melty. Sandwich is all heated through, but that top is still squishy. I love that. Okay. What do we need? Need a spatula. Now the final thing that I'm going to put on this is some of the french fried onion rings that I got over at the Aldi. Now these aren't just for green bean casserole. These are delicious on a sandwich, on a salad, um, on top of a casserole. You know, anywhere you need that little bit of savory crunch. Yes, please and thank you. Get those all pressed on there. yum Oh. I can dig it, I can get behind that. Okay, let's put the lid on it. Press that baby down. And a knife, my kingdom for a knife. Okay. Give that the old chippity chop right in half and There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, that looks delicious. That's a, oh yeah, does that make you groan, Hazel? Oh, you poor baby. Yeah, she's ready. Okay, there we go. I think that is a terrific dinner. Good enough to eat. Skippy, skippy, yeah. Look at all that turkey in there. That's gonna be fantastic. And those french fried onion rings, the cherry on top babies. 
All right, well, whether you're doing this with lunch meat or if you have turkey leftovers, I can get behind that, absolutely. This is a great dinner. Gonna serve all of my, it's gonna satisfy all of my Panera yum yums. And get yeah, for pennies on the dollar, can't get better than that. All right, we gotta go watch Jeopardy. We gotta go eat dinner. Be good, be careful, look both ways. I'll see you next time. See you next time. Thanks for watching Crazy But Not Dangerous. Bye now.